What's up, guys? See some people starting to come in here. What's up, guys? Can you hear me okay? What's up, Korean? What's up, Nicholas? And a lot of people I already remember. <sighs> Yo, what's up, Lion? Matt? Attic, what's good, bro? Loud and clear? Nice, nice. Matt Shepard, good to see you, bro. Seven. Where you been, dog? I've been taking a long break. I'm not even really back, but I just wanted to throw it on. What's up, everybody? Bradley, good to see you, bro. Jay Ella. Where's that bald head of yours, man? Long time see you. No, looking good. I got a little bit of hair now. What's up, guys? And Nick, thank you for that uh, tier one. I appreciate it, bro. I'm not sure if anything even works, like the alerts or whatever. Good to see everybody. Good to see everybody. Tiberius. Much love. I appreciate the, the kind words, guys. Boomerkin, good to see you, man. Yeah, so... I, 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 I don't really know what I'm doing at all. I didn't really play Season of Discovery other than at BlizzCon for a minute. So we're just gonna we're gonna try it out, man. We we'll try it out. Old washed up vanilla handy. What do you guys think of season of discovery? Are you guys enjoying it still? Is the hype faded? Is it uh, is it good? I have mixed feelings on it, man. What's up, don't doubt it up, Stan? Yeah, good to see everybody. Ready for phase two, it's good though. Okay, so it's still phase one. So is the level cap 25 still? Or, or did it uh, increase yet? Oh, what's up Kuzak, good to see you man. 25, what server are we on? I think I'm on Crusader Strike. Check. But I can't play with Grays and all them because they're on Horde and Horde is locked, I think. 25, all right, it's not too bad. Trade two Liddy, what's up man? Phase 2, February 8th. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm really going to play this or stick around. I just, uh... I'm compelled to press go live. I've been thinking about it for a while. Yeah, we're on Crusader Strike, but as you can see... Oh, shit! Whoa, wait, you can play on Horde now? Your alliance are all the boys horde or what? Oh shit, man! Tempting. We make it out of their tower with this one. What up, Zerker? See you, good to see you. Looking really good, thanks, man. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of pickleball. You know, going to the gym, trying to get back in my old shape, like college shape. It's been fun, just focusing on fitness, health, family. Leaves looking sick, bro. Thanks, man. Yeah, still working on it. It's a work in progress. I still got some shading to do on the inner part, but it's getting there. Sod is the best time I had playing WoW. Am I gaming? Nah, I haven't really been gaming much at all. Occasionally, every few weeks or maybe months, I'll I'll feel nostalgic and I'll go through. I don't know if you guys do this too, and just play like a lot of the old games from your childhood and stuff. So I'll just fire up the old Xbox or. You know, just play like some Master Chief Collection or N64 games or whatever. But just really casually, it's just like I'm on nostalgia autopilot with the game. <clears throat> Guy in the chat, what's up, what's up? Are you rated 5.0 in Pickleball yet? <laughs> Getting there, bro. I, uh, there's the Hyundai Masters uh, PPA event in Palm Springs. I went to that and I got gold and silver and men's d doubles and mixed doubles. But yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. I'm loving the pickleball. I like, haven't played sports in a while, so. Bro, with that extra schmedium shirt. <laughs> with some Chernobyl. Good to see you, man. Yeah, so, like, I don't know. I think about. Wow is such a big part of my life. Like, it has been. And 
Like, I have so much love for this game. I truly do. It's done so much for me that I've struggled, like... Because in some ways, this is, the, you know, the elephant in the room. I feel like in, in some ways I got dirty with some stuff with, with how I, like, left the space and took a break from things. Um, and this is really all that I'll say on, like, regarding any drama or anything like that in the past. It's like, all, all I ever did, man, is just do what I always, always did, like get passionate about gaming or fitness or whatever it might be and make projects in the space that I'm passionate about like with my friends make projects like hardcore or RHP, all that stuff um it's just just who I am and just fuses like you know, business gaming entrepreneurship everything just comes together for me and um so I I, I was when I think about WoW, it's like this whole chapter of my life. I've put in so many years into this game since 2017, BlizzCon announcement and all that. And I, I do have so much love for this game and the, the music, the ambience, the zones. I think about it all the time. Um, and I, I do love just regular vanilla WoW as, as my jam, right? And like, some of you guys might be in the same boat where you yearn to play vanilla, like you want to play vanilla, just classic good old fashioned vanilla, 1x everything, you know, like peace server days, whatever. But then when you're actually there playing it, like it's not as fun for some reason because you did it so much. And you think to yourself, okay, well, the game can't, you can't just play the game exactly how it was forever. Like it does get stale, it does, it does get stale over time. So like you have to innovate, you have to do some stuff, you have to try some stuff. But at the same time, the things that they're trying with Sod kind of weird me out. Like it. It's like a chicken or the egg problem because some of the stuff they're doing with Sod, then I don't know, it, it doesn't feel, I don't feel as compelled to play it as old school vanilla, but then playing old school vanilla doesn't quite hit the same too, you know what I mean? So, but we're going to try it out. I was just telling Def Camp I missed the old GMA, hope you all coming back on Sod. Yeah, I'm not really like back back, I just wanted to throw it on. What up, Cheesy? Good to see you, bro. It's familiar but different. You haven't given it a real chance yet. Exactly, to, to me. And that's what I was thinking, because before I hate on Sod or anything like that, or just go play like vanilla again, like a weirdo, like, let me try it out. Good morning, guys are out. What's up, Zergar? Hey, Cast Kai with the tier one sub. Thanks so much. I don't think the alerts are working. It's just gonna have to be manual. Thanks a lot, man, for the sub already. Not fade away. All right, I guess we'll get in there and just play, guys. I'm, I'm like unironically gonna need your guys help a lot with this though because I really have no idea what I'm doing. I'll, I'll make a horde guy too, but I already set this guy all up. It gives me anxiety like setting up a new character, all the bars and everything, like going through all that. You know, staring closely at this screen like a weirdo while I'm live. So I set this warrior up. We'll just play this guy for now. Um, rune guide, speed run guide. The boys have been busy. Let's do this, I guess. They actually did a decent job of making Sod still have that vanilla feeling. Can't do Horde and Ally on the server? Oh, I have other accounts and stuff too. Zeke is coming in, bro. Good to see you. Thanks, bro. I appreciate that, John. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good again these days. I'm, I'm like 180 pounds or something. It's like the lightest I've been in a long time. What can I do for you? Just doing two a days at the gym, man. I go in the morning, do some yoga or some Pilates or some water sculpt or something like that, and then nighttime play pickleball and lift some weights. Okay, kill young wolves until you have ten copper worth of stuff. Some things never change. How's the sound, by the way? It sounded good. That, uh, I haven't touched this game in a long time, guys. I'm gonna be absolutely washed. This is a just chatting stream. Expect no good gameplay here. Start attack. What is it? Cancel. What's the road strike? Cancel. I might have it. You know what to, to DQ it? Still doing the farming? How's the kid? Oh, my kid's great. Uh, yeah, she's great. She's two and a half in preschool, walking, talking, swinging, running around. It's a really cute place. Everything's good. Every everything is really good. Like, honestly, my kid's really good. Like, I'm enjoying my 30s. The friendships you make in your 30s with 
people who are like, you know, like families, homes and all that. I, I really don't think they're doing. I just kind of got their shit together. Going out, like, you know, getting, uh, getting dumplings with them. For me though, I've been through many perks in my life. I'm sure you guys are the same. I've tried different things. I've had the farm I've had the, the uh, self-reliant um, prepper arc. I've had the military arc. I've had all types of stuff, right? And I've had like, athletic arc. I played sports in college. Sports grew up. I think that's like the favorite version of myself. Like I'm the most comfortable on my skin. I'm the happiest when I'm just kind of like a little gym rat playing sports and just eating a lot too because food makes me happy so being able to eat what you want because you're just training a lot and going to the gym a lot and playing sports it, I, I feel the happiness when I'm doing that so I've had the DJ and gamer art of course where you just like get super washed super happy. yeah game is giga loud oh sorry is a giga loud. Maybe it's just the combat though. We try to make the combat a little bit lower. Maybe that'll be better. Oh, you couldn't even hear me. Okay. The boys are on the hook. Oh, what up, Sardako? Rats on the check mark. I think I got 10 copper already. Okay, now lower the in-game volume and repeat everything you just said. I'll, I'll sum it up again. I'm, all I was saying was that I've had many different arcs, like phases of your life where you try different things, right? Military arc, uh, E-Gen gaming, um, what else? Like, like I said, like the prepper, I mean like a prepper, you know, being outdoorsy. Um, think about you know, just the sports and kind of bodybuilding arc. I feel like a lot of people do that when they're in college. Just all different versions of yourself, different things you go through. And for me, it, now that I'm in my 30s now, I feel like that's the one that makes me the happiest. Just trying to like be a little gym rat, go to the gym, play sports, eat a lot of food. It's my favorite. I feel like I'm most like, comfortable in my own skin and I feel I feel like I'm doing that. So that's what I've been up to. I've got some some IRL businesses going going on and stuff too. Just, that's been nice. <clears throat> Getting stuff going that uh it isn't isn't pixels. How do you see you out, so bro? Can't even working out looking healthy. Yo, hero vision, good to see you bro. On alert, but... Oh my god, Kuzo with the 50. There's actually a lot of subs. Let me go through it all. Tip $50, bro. That's way too generous, man. I'm not sure if I'm really making a comeback or anything. I'm honestly just dipping my toe in the water. Saying hi to you guys. Return of the King. You look great, man. Hope everything is going well. That's so nice of you, bro. Thank you. That's that's launch, bro. I'm going to get some try tip with that. Thanks so much. Not fade away. NFA with the tier one. Four months. Thanks, man. Iberius HC with the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven subs. Thank you so much, Tiberius. Casca, you guys are too kind, man. Kuzo with another 50. Visu with the tier one. 42 months in a row? Wait, you never canceled a Visu? No shot, dude. <laughs> you forgot to cancel. Someone needs a, a, that rocket that the rocket money app. <laughs> cancel your 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 subs. Manic Twitch, thank you. We owe so much to you. Love you. Thank you so much, Manic Twitch, if you're still here. Sorry, I'm a little late. I don't think my alerts are working. What's up, Jokey? Oak98, the king missed you. Glad you're looking well. Thank you, brother. Water bottle. The lavender and weed harvest doing well? That was, see, that's what I'm saying. That, that, that was like a couple arcs ago. That's already been over. Sold the farm and everything. But yeah, I've been playing a lot of pickleball. Need help? What can I do for you? But yeah, let, let's we can talk about Sod a little bit too. If it, like, see you let's later. Let's get a. Uh, get 
some opinions in, in the in the house right now. What would you guys rate Sod out of ten so far? Like I feel like the, Lights the, with the initial you. hype already got through it, like stabilized or deep into phase one. It's like the point where people are getting kind of bored, probably getting kind of antsy. Like, you guys happy with you how, how they're how they're doing See you it? Later. Ooh, lost rune. This is different. Find the lost rune with an Echo Ridge mine and use it to learn a new ability. Engrave gloves victory rush. What the heck is this, man? What is this victory rush in vanilla? I have a good one. What can I do? What did they do to my you? boy? Be careful. I'm just kidding. Wait, we'll try it out. This is kind of exciting. I'll need your help. Uh, all this shit. 8.5, 9, solid. Talk to good old Egan Pelt Skinner. You need something? See you around. Good old Egan. It's better, man. Hello. What? What? Uh, so Gray's, Gray's and Ampi and all them, they're they have a guild on Horde. On here, like playing every day, still pumping. I heard some people are doing hardcore soccer. James Rush with the with the tier one stuff. Thank you, bro. Thank you, thank you so Throwing on the stream. 1025s? 1025s is not too bad. I mean, the thing that I, I thought, because I did go to BlizzCon this year and I hung out with the boys even though I was like fully out of the space, I was thinking to myself that, um, you guys ever have friends that you wish would play WoW, but you, you tell them, you know, they know about getting to 60 and how long it takes and it's just too much. But only getting to 25 is way easier for level cap, so basically accessibility would be, would be a lot, would be a lot better with level cap so low. And I was thinking, man, maybe they will get a ton of, ton of people playing. Yo, Soken. That's a good name. Season of Dads? Yeah. Go to Rocksteady. Get to see Starboy with the Prime. 17 months. Man, so many familiar faces. It's wild. So many familiar faces. Sramen in the house. Good to see you too, bro. Be sick if you made a comeback. I feel like Twitch been dry as fuck. I honestly, I don't think I can ever invest myself or love the game like I once loved the game. Like, there's a certain I, I do think it's different now for me. You know, like it's the the spark isn't quite there. Like, maybe season of discovery will spark it. It's possible. You know what I mean. But some of you guys, you know, when you've moved on a little bit, like for real, for real, you've moved on. Like I think I have for real, for real, moved on. But I, I, I do love the game, the sounds, the zones. It, it all means so much to me. And, you know, I put so many years into the community and everything. So time to time, I do still feel that that urge to come back and say hi and pop in. But I do think, you know, like just. I think I played the game. I think I just fully. I think I fully yard myself on the game. Pick a bomb and go ahead. What up, Gordon? Mm -hmm. Pressure stream, bro. Throw it on when you can. Yeah, I finally got a uh, got a got a decent setup again. I just bought a bunch of new stuff, like just a cheapo mic and like a webcam and all that, just set up and, and do a little setup. Watch you in forever. What's up? I've been on this my first stream in over a year. I think, right? I think so. I haven't played. I haven't, I haven't played in a while. I haven't really kept up with anything. Went to BlizzCon and just completely lost. No idea about the runes or what the meta is or what. You, you, play, you change a lot while you're playing Warrior. I know. Playing a little daddy type two or body type two. Human female warrior. They've grown on me, dude. They're so cool. I never thought I'd say this. Remember, I used to hate on, on the BT2 so much, thinking it's like. I don't know. I was wrong. They're kind of cool, man. Right? A little Jenny from the block looking BT2. It's the animations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the animations. You're right. Yeah, it's the animations. Yo, Shoal, that's another awesome name. Whatever. How many people we even have? 
Wow, 245 on Twitch. People still remember your boy, I guess. 119 on YouTube. What's up, everybody? Hope we're doing good. We're just doing a first time playthrough of Season of Discovery. You know literally nothing about this, about this game. What chat is he reading? I'm reading uh, YouTube and Twitch. I just pop. Pop back and forth. I'm playing a female dwarf. Who, who would have thunk? No, it's quite popular now. In the meta of uh, vanilla gaming 2024. There's a lot of female dwarf enjoyers. Really missed your perspective when official HC servers caught fire, man. Just appreciate you leaving the line again. That was a trip. That was a trip. I was watching from from the sidelines. Incredible. Incredible stuff. The whole push, who would have thought? Able to actually beat the whole game, including KT, like. It was incredible. Ampi and the boys just. Unreal. Anyone still playing on the hardcore servers? Like, mainly? Or did it just die? You just, just have Graze give you one of his 14 warriors? Has Graze been like degen, no lifing, mid maxing, everything? Wait, so this RXP guy, uh, this this has all the runes and it tells you when to do the runes as well. What can I do for you, King's Honor, friend? Be careful for the alliance. Light was that bless a separate you. Guide? Did, the, did the boys make a separate guy for that? <laughs> uh, Greetings. Be careful. <clears throat> this is what not wow playing wow does to a man. <laughs> What's up, K Super? Oh, good to see you, dude. How are you? Speedrun God himself. Have a good Man, one. You've been playing this whole time? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I'm gonna keep it a thousand. I'm gonna keep it just a absolute thousand of you guys. As much as I love this game, just wow and the community and all that. When you stop playing WoW, your your IRL stats. Start, you just get massive world buffs in real life. Like, let me just put it that way. Like, you don't, you, you kind of don't realize it. Looking for something specific? You. Yeah, you start playing the the RPG, the RPG of real life. <laughs> Safe travels. Cold worker. Yeah, unfortunately, speedrun guide will tell you some in the beginning that aren't out of the way. The rest you got to use the rune guide, I believe. Okay, so it's a separate guide then. Is IRL fun? IRL is fun, dude. I, I, IRL is really fun. It is really fun. It is really fun. I'm telling you, getting, like, just going to the gym or just playing sports, doing physical stuff on a daily basis, it could be whatever. It just makes you so much happier. It, it, it's like a chemical thing in your brain or something. Like that. It makes you. It just makes you so much happier. You feel so much more at peace. Like it's so worth it. Like even if you're fully degen gaming right now, these days playing whatever you're playing, just carve out a little time. It's so worth it. You know, just, be there, just, just an hour. Is this a hardcore run? Don't do it. They left a bunch of exploits open. Terror miss is real. Nah, not a hardcore run. Just do it. Just do it normal. Separate guide is free though. If you right click the guide. Tactics. Oh my god. Look who it is. Tactics. The den. The, the, the Danish prodigy. So really good to see. Redeem sing a song? Oh, no shot. Like, don't do it to me on my first stream. I owe you one, bro. <laughs> I owe you one. I deleted my WoW sub for now. I gotta focus on raising the game and being present for my wife. Yep. I feel you on that. 
I'll always love WoW and how much joy it's given me the years, but the last year I joined a broom ball team. What the heck is that? Is that Quidditch? Oh, so you're playing some Quidditch? I'm a niche sports enjoyer as well with pickleball. The pickleball has actually been growing like crazy. Like explaining a bunch of like rappers are investing in the stuff, like professional athletes investing in the teams and stuff. It's been so fun. Pickleball is so fun. And I know some of you guys might remember I used to hate on pickleball as like a tennis elitist, but it is so fun. It's such a fun game. You can play it your whole life, and you can play with people of all ages, blah 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 blah. So fun. Golf has been my happy place. Yeah, golf is legit. So glad just to hang out and hear your experience. You owe him too? Okay, I owe him too. I owe you too. Sing Benny Blanco? Oh my god. <laughs> Benny Blanco. I think I'm gonna get my first room, guys. A lost room. So, when I was at BlizzCon, um, we were playing the BFD demo with Sarth and Braze. Black Smoke, Ampi was there. Getting to chill with Ampi in real life was, was really cool. We had a great time. We got a little uh, AMG drop top and we're just cruising around LA and getting food and stuff. But yeah. The runes are pretty much enchants, right? On your gear. Yo, what up, Wink? Good to see you, bro. I've still been hanging out with Winky in real life. I got into pickleball five years ago, and it's only been growing so much faster. It's so far. Your voice is low compared to the game volume, brother. Okay. Oh, classic kill. What's up, man? Is it any uh, any louder now? Any louder? Test, test, test. Way better. Okay, cool. Why'd you disappear for one year? It's a. Uh, it's a, it's a, it's complicated, man. Obviously, like, got into some drama, and for me, like, it was, it was a drama on multiple fronts with the hardcore stuff, with the RXP stuff, and, like, I was also feeling pretty burned out with the game for a while, and thinking about, for a while, just kind of moving on for a while, so it all kind of just came together, and uh, I was just at the point where I was thinking to myself, man, I think it's time. Like, I really feel like I, I worked hard on some projects, made an impact on my favorite game, got to meet some of the people who made my favorite game of all time. So I made my mark on the scene, and now it's just time to move on. Like, playing past this is just... It's just like, now's the time. And I still feel that way. I'm not really coming back or anything. I'm just saying hi to you guys. Sleep looking fire. Thank you, bro. They just did the uh, the shading on the bottom part. I don't know if you can see it. So how it works is they do the lines first. So like my inner arm, it still has the lines where it's more bare. And then they have to let it heal. And then you come back in, in a couple weeks and they do the shading. But it's addicting, bro. I could have sworn that Blizzard hired you for sod. There, there is an alternate reality where something like that could have happened because like I, I was working with Blizzard um, with the hardcore stuff and that was so so freaking cool dream come true like it was insane surreal like crazy experience getting to look behind the curtain like that but in some respects in some respects I uh, fumbled the bag so to speak but I'm still happy with how it all turned out like you know, we got hardcore servers. We saw if it was possible. They beat the game. One life. You know, a lot of my friends did really well because of the hardcore stuff. <clears throat> Credit to everyone that did the OTK Makara tournament, but the entire time I couldn't help but think this happened because Gargos. 
I appreciate that, bro. I appreciate it. The actual first people to do the uh, Makara stuff was Cheesy Goodness and Samwise. I became a streamer because of HC, thanks to the OG Cargos. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Sorry, Dako. Well met. A lot can change in a year. It's cool that some of you guys still still remember your boy. And thanks again for being like so positive and, and cool. I was a bit uh, a bit nervous, Steven. Yeah. Press go live, you know. For the alliance. Okay. Did we get a rune? I'm like half paying attention to the game because we're looking at chat. Charge, heroic strike, get old brand. <clears throat> Where's my oh there? Battle. Uh, oh, I don't think I even did that. I was in Echo Ridge Mine. Rune guide. Maybe I have to press this too? What the heck is this, man? Rune guy? Should I just go do this? Maybe I should just go do this. Go back to Echo Ridge. Rune of Victory Rush and kill the laborers. The trash. Spells. He wants me to do burlap and then his tactics probably gonna start balding, but I think I might get this rune. We'll always welcome you back. Your passion for the game and absolute chat personality make for a one in a million combo. Dude, you're too nice to me, bro. I'm not that special, bro. I'm just a Andy. I'm just a vanilla Andy. Yo, Talix, what's up, bro? Good to see you, too. Is uh, Def Camp Melderon playing, Talix? Are you still playing with them? I feel like if anyone would be playing with them, it'd be you. The brother's still playing? Cargo's yeah. long time to see you. You look amazing, man. Thank you, bro. Saxo, good to see you. Yeah, again, I really, I really appreciate the warm welcome, guys. I really do. Yo, how old is everybody now? Be honest. <laughs> early, early 30s, gang? 40s? Getting up there, baby. <laughs> 41, 29, 33. 34, sad face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I just turned uh, 33 in December, like late December. Every day counts. I want to age myself. So I'm probably on the last year of early 30s, right? 34, you're not, you're not early 30s anymore, man. 34, bro, man, <laughs> good to see you. Def Camp got a full-time job now, and Melvin got, got a girlfriend in LA. So he's bougie now? Nice, good for him. For him. What is this? 1.6, so I should use this. Thirty-four in June. Don't say that I'm in, I'm thirty-three tomorrow. Happy birthday, bro. I'll be playing WoW and arrest to him. To be honest. When we're super old, guys, like if we're 60, if we're 60 plus, and you're just on that wavelength, it doesn't sound like the worst thing. Play some WoW. Play some golf, play some WoW. Make a, a senior citizen uh, vanilla WoW community. Melderon died at the tents on Tanneris and hardcore use. I remember that actually, I saw that clip. 20s ending is the best thing to ever happen to me. Yeah, the 30s are nice. I, I think, I think
think guys I can only speak on the male experience, but I do think guys don't peak in their 20s. This could be copium. Could be copium. But I feel like the 30s are very good. AFK to change our diapers. Just basically, on a, even just in a, a leverage thing, I feel like even the dynamic between men and women, I feel like when you're in your 30s, guys are a little more grown, a little more stable. They got their careers figured out. You know, they got that kind of... Um, and I feel like the dynamic is different in a good way. Yeah, I got, I got the baby face for sure. I don't mind it though. It was rough in the early in the early years, you know, earlier years when I couldn't grow a beard to save my life. But I don't mind the baby face anymore. Okay, so we gotta get a rune, huh? Rune, rune, rune. Is it that the chest? Who is this bodybuilder I'm watching? Where's my streamer car? Guys, what's up, Rogue? Thanks, man. Hey, I've been watching you for years. Definitely my favorite streamer, but scared to reach out. I appreciate it, man. I'm, I'm, I'm actually a dog shit streamer. Like, I'm not even kidding. I've learned this. Like, it's, it has never been easy for me to hit the go live button, guys. Like, I'm very social in real life. Like, I love talking to people. I feel like I'm an optimist overall, like a half full type of person. But, you know, some people are just built for it. They can just stream for 24 hours, no problem. Like, the payos of the world, and even Graze is built for it. Like, they just... I don't know what it is, like, maybe it's just being comfortable in your own skin or whatever, but like, I'm, I'm on a clock, like, I get fried so fast streaming, like, I enjoy it though, don't get me wrong, like, being able to talk with you guys, but, uh, I just, I just can't do it for very long, a couple hours and I'm fried. <sighs> are there still, um, are there still, um, like logout skips? Did they fix logout skips? For sod? Is that still very much a thing? Are you gearing up to represent the US in the nationals for pickleball? That'd be sweet. Like I said, I played in the, my first PPA tournament in uh, Palm Springs recently, which is beautiful. If you guys never went to Palm Springs, it's so nice there. It looks like a time capsule out of the 70s, like that glamorous 70s look. Palm trees, really huge open desert. Put it in wow terms, it kind of looks like Tanaris. And, uh. Well, I guess, I guess yes and no, because they, they keep all, like, the, the golf courses. It, it's pretty bougie there, like, it, it's very manicured, so maybe it's not like Tanaris. They keep all the golf courses, like, perfect. But yeah, I did pretty well there. So I'm gonna do more. I'm going to another PPA event in uh, February. Or the end of February. Arizona. Alright, let's go and get our first rune. Click the rune to learn her. Ooh, cast time. Teaches you a new, a new engraving ability. Victory Rush. Huh, so it's not in your spell book, it's not under the runes tab. What is this? Maybe it's here. Hands Victory Rush. Engrave your gloves. So you don't need a material to do this, you can just do it whenever you want. You can just do this anytime you want. You just engrave you just engrave something. Cost nothing. Anytime you feel like it, just change your your rune. Hey Genki, what's up, man? Greetings. Go with all. Alright, let's go use Victory Rush and Vanilla. Dennis, what's up, Dennis? Good to see you, dude. Thanks for the sub, bro. Is this your first time doing side? Yeah, first time. First time. I played a little bit at the, the demo at BlizzCon. I didn't really dive into it much. I have no idea how the phase has been going, if it's been fun, if it's 
Part of me still gets weirded out that people are like try hard and min maxing at 25 in vanilla. It's cool, but it's just it just blows my mind. People speed running at 25 and min maxing it just it, I'm just not used to it. Okay, victory rush. There it is, victory rush in vanilla. Nice. Shot weekend too. Hey, what's up, Dune? Am I enjoying Sot? I said first, I'm like two minutes in, man. It's fun so far. People on my server have been using Gear Score. Rosada. So, are the items at 25? Like, how 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 many items did they put in? Is it? Is it, is it a lot? Like, I don't know, I can't even wrap my head around this. Are people just using, like, Crescent Staff at 25 as their best in slot or something? I mean, obviously it's best, it wouldn't be that, but... <clears throat> Hella items, it's a new game. Huh. Okay. Okay, so... The new game. You really mean that, huh, guys? You really think it's a new game? Like, how, how different is the level 25 meta in normal vanilla WoW. Like, if there was a level 25, imagine it was the beta or something and level 25 was capped, like... How different are we talking? They added new crafted rest crafting recipes. Gray said something the other day when I, when I jumped on his stream that kind of freaked me out. He basically said... In his opinion, there's no going back to normal vanilla. Now, is that true? Is that's that's kind of like that's kind of weird, champ. I don't even I don't really like that. It doesn't sound good, dude. It makes me uncomfortable. Kind of true. Fuck. So all that knowledge, all that, all the stuff that we we put into the game, like learning the meta, learning how it all works, everything. It's all all for naught. Not true at all. Vanilla is done 100%? Dude, I don't know. Why do, why do I feel defensive when you say that? That's just... Shaman tanks feel amazing, that's all I know. <clears throat> I quit Sod and went back to area. Well, what's your what's your guys' favorite thing about Sod? What do you like the most about it? Oh, did they ramp? Did they did they revamp the PVP system as well, guys? Like that rank fourteen one? Common things. Making lackluster specs, not a joke. It's got the classic feel, but just fresh and exciting. There's no rank decay. Arrows still popping off. Yo, Cargo's, your living room looks amazing since you don't stream a lot. What's your actual job, if I may ask? I don't really want to get into anything in my personal life anymore, honestly, bro. I kind of got burned on that, but... Yeah, I have a couple businesses in real life now that are more practical, so to speak. But yeah, this is, this is just a bedroom, my office room. No deranking or losing progress in your current rank. Okay, interesting. So no decay anymore, huh? Thanks for the, thanks for the nice words, though, bro. I appreciate it. I like that I can explore alts and saw because there's progressive level caps. That was always Gray's thing. Are, are, there, um, are there still private servers going? Like vanilla private servers? Or is it dead? Like Everlook is probably rest rest in pepperonis, right? Probably so one year ago I would imagine. Mishap, what's up bro? I'm not really back back. This could just be a one-off stream. See you in another year, but just dipping my toe back in the water. Turtle Wow, oh that's right, Turtle Wow. But that's another like that's a vanilla plus type of server, right? <clears throat> Do 
PvP Henhouse was still pretty active for Warsong, but a lot of those guys are playing Sod Warsong now. Interesting. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, I'd be curious to hear the thoughts from someone like, you know, Perplexity or... Who's the other guy? The, the Grandma? Granny Radio? You know what I'm talking about? The Warsong, the Warsong Gulch, like... Complete like degenerates who just love it so much. I'm curious their thoughts on on the PvP meta and, and if it's uh, oh yeah tilt. That's right. Yeah. Maybe they're stoked because their song's different now. There's like a little more substance. Welcome back, man. Hope the family's doing well. Family's doing great. Though. Thanks for asking. Die and respawn at the spirit healer. Oh my gosh. I guess we can do that. Victory Rush feeling pretty good though. Pretty cool. I like pushing that button. We'll take out as many Defias thugs as we can. Take as many with us as we can. thinking about the run on the stream what i wanted to do at, at first when i was thinking about it was just doing just playing vanilla like normal just go to blood sale or something and just level and chill and just do a just chatting screen like yeah. just talk and chill and vibe and do all that but then i was thinking to myself man you're just too much of a vanilla andy just try what it out at least you? like you can't just not play sod like you're, you're just trolling before you to just skip it all together like Have a try good. it out you need something all, all, all the boys are around. saying it's really fun Light be with you. Light bless you. Be careful. For the Alliance. Yo, CNX. CNX1101 with the Twitch Prime. Thank you so much, man. Warsong Gulch meta is three priests, three to four hunters, one warrior, flag carrier, druid, or lock. That's weird, if that's true. That is really, really weird. I mean, I can see the three priests. Priests are just awesome. Hey there. What can I do for Warrior you? Warrior FC is weird. Like, there's no, no druid FC. Like, what? Or a mage, you know? And why so many hunters? Are hunters really cracked? Oh, penance. That's right. There's penance in vanilla now. Yo, Liquid Tagger with the Prime. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Thank you for the support. Penance was nerfed 20% and it's still so strong. Penance is a really fun button you? to press, though. Penance is, uh, Penance is Wrath, right? Not even TBC. So they actually put Wrath stuff in, too. What's, like, the most shocking ability in vanilla? Like, that they put into vanilla? Out of all of them, you think? Maybe that Metamorphosis thing? Are Warlock tanks actually good, or...? Oh, Garrick said, whoops. Hunters are strong in melee range and pets. Palm as well, you can bounce it with healing now and not just damage. So weird, Palm and Pendants, men. Lock tanks kind of suck, no AoE threat. I see. And I did hear through the grapevine that warriors are still top DPS. Some things never change, huh? Mage healers. Yeah, that's that's gonna take me a minute. That is gonna take me a minute, brother. War will always be top DPS. Yeah. I think I think that's how it should be. I think that's how it should be. 
brown glass on top, so it's just still reminds you of vanilla. I like it. I like that. I'm glad. Nerfing warriors into the ground in a vanilla environment just feels so wrong. Taking the Lambos and turning them into Honda Accords, man, come on, dude. We are Abyss Tank still, too. Nice. Nice. <clears throat> Nicholas. Hey, Cargos, welcome back. I hope everything is okay and the family is good. From a former developer and friend, Zantral. Thanks so much, man. Thanks for stopping me. Yeah, you guys have been really, really sweet today. I gotta say, thanks so much. Even this, just this right now that we're doing right now, being able to talk with you guys and just like come back into the community with some, see some familiar faces. It's really cool. Yo, Wonder Goon, good to see you, man. Rip my Honda Accord, just got rested. Sorry, bro. It's a solid car. Hello. Good day to you. Safe travels. <clears throat> so you guys have just been doing BFD. For how long has phase how how long has phase one been out? It's November was BlizzCon, right? So like December it came out, so you've been two months? Three months? Hey there. I just, I can't... What can I do for you? I just have to see it to believe it. Like, that doesn't sound very fun from the outside looking in. Two months of straight only BFD, mid-maxing, killing, like, Godzilla and stuff. But we'll Maybe I'm tripping. <laughs> BFD has been a vibe, fun little raid. Did they say what the next one's gonna be? The next raid? Nomer? Oh, shoot, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool, because it's such a big dungeon, there, there, there is potential to do some stuff. Did they put any new bosses in BFD? Or they, they just revamped them, right? No more 10 man, level 40, it's gonna be sick. BFD is 10 man too, right? Or is it 25? I think it's 10, right? Oh, what's up, Forrester? Yeah, I don't want to get you guys' expectations up. I don't really even know if I'm going to play. But, like, I could see myself just... I honestly... I, I'm lying to you guys if I feel... If I say that I'm, like, interested in participating in the meta, you know? That's kind of what I mean. Like, I do feel like I've sort of, like... The days of, like, caring about the meta and min-maxing and trying hard in the game, like, it's... I, I think it's just genuinely over for me. Need help? I think that ship has sailed, like... I'll play just and just and just chill with you guys and play from time to time. The Alliance. Just pop on. What can I help you with? Hear the sounds, hear the combat noises. <clears throat> oh, I'm supposed to like buy a so play sword or something, right? What are you looking for? That's what Thomas Salamis would do. Five silver thirty-six. Can't even buy it. What if I sell this? Uh whatever. Have a good one. Oh, abandoned Millie's. Train blacksmithing or the rough stone tech still holding strong. Greetings. Love to see it. Have a good one. How are you? Posture check, thank you. Thank you, posture check, thank you. Honestly, Sod has been the comfiest version of the game to me. You can only use Victory Rush with your when your gloves are enchanted with it. I see, so I just have to do it over and over again. But I th okay. Same here, I just play and chill. How's the family? Oh, yeah, every, everyone's good with the family. Life is really good overall. I'm, I'm you need something? Pretty much my, my daily schedule these days. See you these days. Now, the, for the past months, I, I pretty much, like, I bought a few business, well, I bought two businesses and then had to, like, get it running, you know, like, I had to go out there and learn the business and do a lot of, of work myself, but finally got some people that are, that, that I hired to help me with it, and now I can, my, my day-to-day -day is wake up, 
to go do a class at the gym, like 9 a.m. Oh, no, no, I drop my daughter off at preschool, then do that. Then chill, play some pickleball. Go home, do a little bit of work, eat some lunch, try to eat something delicious, like, yeah. Try dip or some nice protein. Maybe take a nap. Need something? Safe travels. Wake up. <clears throat> Chill a, bit, chill a little bit at the house, go back to the gym, like train one, one muscle, then go play pickleball and then rinse and repeat. Spend some time with the, the kid at night, like maybe go watch a movie with her or something. It's been a vibe. Oh, get first aid? Okay, I'll do that. Is it true that you got harassed by what Alex Central supporters? You don't have to answer if you don't want to. I'm sorry if that really happened. Hope you're doing good. I don't even really want to address it, bro. Like I don't even I don't even hate Alex or anything, man. Like it is what it is. Like I'm not a perfect person. I made mistakes. I I've, I've had drama. I've could have dodged certain drama. It's Hello. It's the way she goes. Um You need something? Ultimately I've I've made peace of the situation and all See that type later. of stuff and I I'm just here to chill and vibe and you know it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Let me buy some dollar on sharp. How are you? See you around. Warlocks are so cool. They can drain health like a vampire 1v1 kings. Even still. Still the pound for one pound heavyweight champs. We're on Crusader Strike Alliance. And spells. Only got one silver though. So I might grief myself buying the Hello. dollar on sharp. Parry. Underclap or parry? Parry, right? Nice. Be careful. Okay. Have you considered going back to the private servers? There's some dedicated HC ones now. Yeah. I mean, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Like I said, like, I do think I've moved on from the game, guys, for real. Like, I don't know. Like, even I'm playing right now, and it's fun, but... Does anybody feel me on that? Like, you love the game, you love the sounds, the feeling, the zones. You have so much love for this game, but, like, you're just kind of... You just kind of move past it, bro. It's, like an it's almost like an unfortunate thing, like... But you're back, though. Yeah, like, I'm back to... They just chill and hang out and play for a little bit, but to, to really like invest, I guess to really like invest yourself into a server, like kid, kind of to do that, I feel like that should be so. There's just better places to spend time, yeah. Throwing up happens, I feel ya. Yeah. I mean, it's the best game of all time, and you guys know it, I know it, and like, I, I do want to almost pass the torch on to even like younger kids and stuff who are, want are wanting to play it and get new people interested in the game, like I care about the state of the game, but like, I just played it so much. But maybe Sod could be different, like, I, may maybe playing this is gonna somehow re-spark things or something. What up, Yuri? I just like people enjoying games and chilling out. Yeah. I do think, looking back in retrospect on all the content that I've done over the years, the phases where I've been, where I've attempted to be more of a tryhard and attempted to be more of a new maxer and, and you know, be the best I can be and, and try to pump as hard as I can. Those are all fun and good and stuff, but like, I don't, I, th I do think the best content of WoW is just, the simple stuff, just relaxing, having a conversation, talking about life, talking about the game. I think for a good chunk of people, like... I, I, I just think that's it. That's it. That's probably the best content for the for this game. People feel the most connected to the streamer, and it feels like the most personal, it's the most interactive, it's the most... Whatever. It,
we call Sod Season of Daz is quite casual. Nice. That's cool. <clears throat> I'm, I'm a bit surprised, though, how positive the reception is to Sod. Like, the WoW community, I, in some ways, I feel like the WoW community, it can we can be kind of doomers when it comes to the game, or like Blizzard, it's like, for Blizzard, it's, you know, you can't, what's the expression? Like, it's lose-lose for Blizzard. No matter what they do, you're going to upset, like, a huge swath of people, and people are never satisfied, and they always think it could be better, and they're, they're, they're very pessimistic about the game. That's what I've, like, learned over time. But I'm pretty surprised at how optimistic or people, like, how well-received Sod is overall. I'm sure you still have some doomers. But I'm, I sometimes scratch my head, like, is this the same WoW community? Like, why is everyone, like, just loving Sod so much? Like, is it really big? Something happened. What, did you get brainwashed or something? Sod is by far the most casual, friendly version of Classic to exist. Nice. Good to see you, BMNJ, by the way. Good to see you. That has been so good. That is just shocking to me. BFD only for like three months straight. And people are just loving it. Nobody got a better slideshow presentation than my boy Cargos. You're right, you're right. I do, uh, I did, uh, I did make some amazing PowerPoint presentations. It's so funny thinking about that. Like, I used to, how it started, for, for those of you who didn't, for those of you who didn't know, uh, I was making guides back during, like, the private server times for Vanilla, and I was just using in-game footage, and I was just like, ah, fuck it, I'll just, I'll just send it, like, I'll use in-game footage and all that. And they started to grow and get pretty big. And then I got like giga copyright struck and like almost all the videos on my channel got taken down. Blizzard struck me. And I was like, oh man, how, how, I need to think of something. I need to think of some way to, to keep the guides going. So I uh, made some PowerPoint slides and it worked. Oh, that's a lot of kobolds. I still have hardcore, hardcore WoW PTSD. Like I'm definitely dead here, right? It's okay if we die. I just had to re repeat to myself. It's okay if we die. We're playing normal game. It's okay if we die. It's perfectly okay. I can just die. It's all good. 11%. It's fine, dude. It's fine. Oh, victory rush heals. <laughs> Forgot about that. Oh. Not short sword of stamina. Little NSS right here. Thank you. 5.5 DPS. One stem. What'd this guy say? Close one law. Ass blower. Thank you, ass blower. I appreciate it, bro. Noble ass blower. Saving my life. That first death after HC is heart pumping for sure. <clears throat> ass blower invited to me a group. My first friend. Oh, he wanted to give me the tag on gold tooth? What a giga chad. This is the side community. What the? You shadow stepped at six? Okay, dude, that's kind of sick. <laughs> what the fuck? You got a rune? Oh my gosh, man. You can shadow step at two? That's a little much. You can shadow step at two? Oh man, what about the racials? Did they touch the racials at all? Is there a new racial meta or is it just the same shit? Like humans are just busted. Got a rune, right? Okay. Each is you. Furious Thunder. Thunderclap now increases the time between attacks by an additional 6%. Can be used in any stance and deals 50% increased threat. Alright. <clears throat> Leveling low level stuff has always been your thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. For sure. Our first pot. Yes. That's awesome. <clears throat> They're discussing some changes to racials in future phases. No info yet. Shadow Strike is amazing. Shadow Strike. Yeah, it's going to take me a minute to 
Get used to all that in vanilla. Oh my god, vanilla. Oh my god, heroic strike 72 damage. That is. That is quite a lot of damage. Bad gamer back in action, yes sir. Good to see, hope you've been doing where you've been, what's been going on. Taking it easy, bro. Took some time. I thought I was completely done with the game. Still am pretty much like, you know, done with the game, but just just dabbling casually back into it a little bit. Just been focusing on health and um, just real life, playing the real life RPG. Does anybody do that? Or it, it might be a gamer thing, or maybe maybe it's extremely cringe. I don't know. Ooh, small green pouch. But when you think about life is kind of an RPG, like in your gamer brain, you know? And when you think about, you know, what food you're eating, or if you're gonna go to the gym, or if you're gonna, you know, study or learn a new skill or something, you think about it in those terms. Like, this is worth doing, it's, you know, increase your real life stats. <clears throat> they normalize. Racials, bosses are only plus two levels, so weapon skill isn't as OP. Oh, interesting. And allies have Wind Fury. Yeah, 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 that's crazy as well. And didn't I hear that Druids give Wind Fury now? Something like that. It's a gamer thing and an entrepreneur thing for sure. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I need two more gold dust. What is the weakest class in SOD, guys? Teach me. Teach me the meta. What's, what is the most underwhelming class? <clears throat> Teach me your ways. Teach me the meta. the test master let's get we have a potion and we have victory rush i need the potion i think though dude arg is strong i'm dead here i think unless yeah i'm dead here. okay it's okay it's okay it's okay we can die it's all right it's okay i need to not play in hardcore everything is okay everything's all right it still, it still gets me, it, it gets, it gets me going a little bit when we're about to die. It's like, it's been, I don't think I've played non-hardcore in a long time. Monk S delete, we go again. In raid, the worst is Frost Mage and Shadow Priest. Hmm. Also, did they buff the world at all, guys? Did they make the world stronger? Because maybe I'm just extremely washed. But that's a lot of damage. Like, Narg, 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 I don't remember Narg being so powerful. And I had Victory Rush 2 and a Potion and I'm 6 in Fargo Deep Mind. Like, is, did they do something? <laughs> uh, world is stronger. Okay, that's sick. I, that's probably my favorite change of Sod that I'm hearing about so far. Because I remember when they did that on private servers. And messed with some of like the 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 mangoes values and made the world stronger, it, uh, especially like on PvP server and stuff. It just made the world feel way better, like more dangerous. Everything got buffed. That's so cool. I love that. That's so cool. That is so freaking cool, actually. So everything straight up double damage. damage but not health. Hunters have been busted for a sec, dude. Like a scorpion was the best raid tank and could soul any class. Okay. So if the worst the worst classes right now are Shadow Priest and Frost Mage, what is what is the strongest class overall? Not just top DPS, what do you who do you think is, is eating the best in Sod? I've heard just a few things through the grapevine. Like some people were telling me that like hunters are unironically broken at the start and they had to nerf them or something. Like Warlock, Hunter, and Druid are the kings. Uh, 
Warlocks are the kings in vanilla. That that is interesting. That makes me kind of happy. Um, yo, Draku's MMO with the Prime for five months. The legend is back. Thank you so much, bro. That means a great deal to me. I really appreciate the warm welcome, guys. Like the warm welcome back. Not to say I'm really back or anything, but thank you. We look at this physique. I had no idea Cargos was a swole gamer, daddy. <laughs> I just got nerfed about three or four times. I'm just, okay. The hunter pets were triple dipping on stats and catching the world buff. Oh, so our our, war, our world buff's still a huge deal right now. Like, have they embraced world buff concept and people are still dropping hearts and heads and all this and it's just just as big of a deal as ever and all that? Or is this? Oh, I guess you can't. We're 25. What am I saying? Sorry, take that back. Take that back. Sorry, sorry, sorry. My bad. You're away from the game. My bad. My bad. My bad. Yeah, but eventually, when, when they get 60. BFD has a world buff. No shot. What is it? You're talking about the frost thing? It's surely not. Like, 10 frost resistance? The BFD buff is kind of huge. Ashenvale PvP event has a world buff, too. Move speed world buff. Oh, wow. The VFD buff is insane. Spell power, attack power, spell, and physical hit, and 20% move speed. Sheesh! How long? Is it a two-hour? Is it a... Tell me it's a two-hour joint. The one-hour ones are a little, little annoying. Boon of Black Fathom. Way better for Hordes. Two-hour. Nice, 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 nice. Bro, the boons are 20 silver for a boon? Oh my gosh, that does sound sick. Those That boon price adds up, man. 10 gold usually, right? See about this. We'll see about this season of discovery thing. Dark Moon Fair, that's right, Dark Moon Fair, yeah. Cargo's got rezzed on Twitch. Yeah, 265 people here, man, for a, for a completely washed up, clueless dad, vanilla gamer, Andy. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for being so cool and stopping in today. Looks like you'll, you'll have to fit in some streaming. Everyone missed you, dude. Do it your way. Let's see. 119 people on YouTube, too, as well. Well, you look so different. Lost weight looks OP, too. Yeah, I've been getting back into the sports sports lifestyle. Like pick a ball and stuff. I bought 200 boons because I'm worried they will increase that price. How's the baby? Oh, the baby's great. She's super cute. It's it's gotten, you know, being having a toddler now instead of like a new an infant and newborn has got its unique challenges, but it's overall it's way better. Like you can interact with them a lot more, and they can understand things a lot more, and they can talk. You know, she learned how to say no and all that, so that's been fun. She says no to everything, but uh, yeah, it's good. Like she's in preschool now, and they they teach her like a ton. So every day she comes back and she learns new stuff. Any chance you could re-upload your Hardcore Orc 1-60 to 60 videos? I love watching those on replay. Hard, uh... Which class, though? I think I, I re-uploaded everything. You haven't been playing Sod? No, I have been completely away from WoW for over a year now. Maybe not, maybe not quite. I think it was spring. Spring of 2023 that I stopped playing. Almost a year. We never got to see a reaction to Blizzard making official HCR reality. I remember it was such a big dream for you before. Yeah, I was I was actually working with them um, for the months before it launched and and trying to, uh, Blizzard. I, I do truly feel that like Blizzard did a very good job with handling that. Like they reached out to the community, not just me, other people too, and were just asking a ton of questions. And they, it, it's it's shocking like how. What the fuck? Crusader? What is that called? Is that Crusader Strike? I'm following this man. Level 25 Giga Chad. This is the this is this is the creme de la creme now. This is what a max level character in Sod looks like. It looks so funny, dude. He looks like a <laughs> He's ready for dead mines and this is max level sweat. Farragans fist? Is that this bro? That's so funny to me, man. 
Berrigan's Fist is Biss Phase 1. <laughs> that is awesome. That is so cool. Such a sick weapon. Avengers Void Pearl. 18 attack power. Trinket. Seal of Rin. It's all items I remember. This one is new, I think. This one could just be a green. Mark of Scorn. I think that's new. I don't, I don't remember that. This is oh, this is this has been there. All this other stuff. Shiny silver breastplate. Oh yeah, that's probably amazing at 25. Hydraxian bangles. I think this is new. I don't recognize that. There's an epic two-handed sword out of BFD. No way. Is it is it is it this? And the hat from Mormon fell. 31.7 DPS stored. What's it called? The sword. You can craft the silver breastplate into an epic? What? So you can refine it? Like you can take it and then upgrade it further? Like you use it as a material and, and, and turn it into another thing? Deadly Strike of the Hydra. Oh, because Strike of the Hydra is the name of the actual item, normally. So they call, they they renamed it Deadly Strike of the Hydra, and it's epic now. Makes sense, makes sense. Okay, we should leave this cave. I've been here for way too long. It's Biss, but Dual Wield is Biss for Warriors. Okay. Dual wielding is still Biss, huh? You know, one of the, the main things that was really exciting when I saw the announcement that BlizzCon, though, is the idea that shamans can dual wield in vanilla and potentially tank. I'm not sure how that ended up going, if it, if it ended up working out and if they're actually good, but enhance getting some love in vanilla is freaking awesome. I think we can all agree on that. It was like we're probably one of the clunkiest specs in the game. Shamans are the best tanks. Okay, that's a little much. That's a little much. Thoughts on that? They went from literally only that one guy, uh, Caperfin, tanking on a shaman to being the best tanks in the game. Your threat is OP. Wow. But what about homogenization, guys? That was the first thing people were saying, right, at, Bl at BlizzCon. That like, oh, everyone is going to have a taunt now, everyone can tank now, blah, 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 blah. It's gonna homogenize the game too much. It's just gonna be like what happened, you know, with WoW over the years. No, it's dank. Classes feel more unique now. No, there's there's no shot. There's no, there's no way that's possible. They feel more unique now. They just took a bunch of TBC and Wrath skills and threw them in vanilla as well. Like. It's, See, that's kind of like saying that in the future, the other, the, the future versions of the game, the classes have more class identity or something. Every tank has a unique style and strength. It is kind of cool though, playing vanilla and not and not knowing again. Like this is kind of sick, getting the in, getting the info from you guys and like relearning it. <clears throat> oh, one go move with the prime. Nine months. Thank you so much, bro. Thank you for the nine months of support. Glad you're enjoying the stream. <clears throat> Some things never change. Good old Billy McClure still needs his four board meat. Oh, wait, that's a different guy. Jay Bravo? Hey man, good to see you. Doing hey, good man, this is my first stream in forever. Almost a year. Randung in the house, good to see you dude. Good to see you man, 07 the Randung. Good to see you my, my brother. You need something? How are you? Inventory is full. Hello.
As a rogue, you can solo tank bosses with armor and debuff, for example, because you dodge and parry so much with your AoE. Okay, you just reminded me that rogues can tank now. Surely, that didn't become a thing. Like, so are there other rogues main tanking BFD? Surely not. Surely not. Rogue tank sucks, they're bad. But they could tank like a dead mines or something. So so like maybe maybe that's interesting. So like they can tank, but just it's intentionally like they're not the best. Like you can do it for like just some easy mode kind some kind of easy mode stuff, but for the main raid you can't do it. <clears throat> it does not suck. I empty BFD with my rogue easy. Okay, okay, okay. Rogue tank has problems because their AoE sucks and the combo points suck for tanking. Yeah, rogue doesn't really have any AoE abilities, so uh, unless they gave them gave them something like a phantom knife or something. New cargo is what what pre-workout do you use? Um I use C4. C4 once upon a time was really good. It had this ingredient in it called 1-3 dimethyl alanine. Kind of made you feel just hey there. It made you feel Save crazy. Travels. And some people died off of it. And they like took it out. Um, so it's it's like a hollow husk of what it once was, but it's just what I like to use in the past. I don't think it's the best or anything. I get it kind of cheap too. And it still has the beta alanine in it, which gives you that like tingly feeling. Anyone remember Jack 3D? Oh, oh bro, Jack 3D, that was freshman year for me, bro. Yeah, Jack 3Ds and four locos. <laughs> that was disgusting. Oh man. What can I do for you? Four locos hit different. How's the family and the girlfriend and the wife? The wife is good, man. The family's good. Everything is good. I'm enjoying the 30s, like I said. It's just like a stable time, like kind of. It's, it's it's really good. Hello. I would say on the happiness meter King's out of 100, I'm solid 88. Maybe 90. Very good. Yeah, yeah, for Akamai, we have to have Pally's bubble off a few stacks in the lock and tank fine for the shadow phase. That was another concern at BlizzCon. People were bringing up the, that the, the mechanics feel way too much like retail. And it doesn't feel like vanilla because you're having to dodge things on the ground and blah, blah, blah. You get that loft in Soho yet? Nah, I did buy a place in my hometown though. For me, like, I've, I've said this on the stream for many times, but, like, I'm not really, like, a religious guy so much. Even though I really, I truly respect, like, religion and, like, I like a lot of the traditions and customs and food and all that. And I love Christmas and all that stuff. But for me, like, nostalgia, like, in, you yeah, know, I'm playing classic bio, right? Like, it, that's, like, my spirituality. Like, it's so important to me. Like, every, every now and again, I go back to my hometown and I'll do, like, a little world tour circuit of all the food, the foods and restaurants I grew up with, right? Like... Just go to Garden Catering and go to my pizza spot. Like go, go, just go around. Just get one thing from each place. You know, go to Walter's Hot Dogs, get a hot dog there. Go into the city, do this, and just like it grounds me. It reminds me like where I came from, and it, it makes my life make sense to me. Like I was able to safely watch old cargos. Now my hubby would be like, "Who, who, the fuck is that?" All of my new hair and all. <laughs> hey, what's up, Ashley? How's it going? Good to see you. It's so good to see you. Oh, Dad, she bought a, ba a spot back in New York. It's in my hometown in Westchester County in New York. I'm a, I'm a suburban. I'm a suburban dandy. Grew up outside of New York, and I lived in the city for many years too. But 
Baldur's is goaded. Yeah, you already know, bro. Like nostalgia, like is such a good feeling. Like you can't get too caught up on it. Like you can't just live in the past always, right? Like it's. I do feel like it's good to move out of your hometown and go to different places. But for me, it's like having your cake and eating it too. Like I live out in California, but I have a place back in my hometown. I go there. Like I'm. I'm going to New York on Friday or tomorrow. I'm flying there tomorrow for, for like a week. Just spend a week there. I got my my same gym works over there. They pick up all over there. Nice indoor courts. Um, let's go back. Yeah, girls, everything's good, man. It's vanilla because bosses die in 20 seconds. I missed the OG Jack 3 pre workout. Yeah. Okay. Turn in gold tooth. Can I not get gold tooth? My gosh. Somehow I've been in Fargo Deep Mine for like an hour talking to you guys, I still haven't killed gold tooth. Yeah, boy is washed. Would have thought Iron Lad would be the start of a new game mode. Yeah, man, it's it's the real ones know what what how it went down and how it all happened and stuff. You know, it's it was it, it was an insane experience watching. Like I do, I do cherish the whole arc of the whole hardcore the whole hardcore arc from it going from like super grassroots and just tiny and getting like streamer after streamer, person after person to try it out and grow it, and then it became like this whole thing. So awesome. So they answered the question, is it possible to not only play Vanilla WoW, but beat Vanilla WoW completely with one life? Insane. Insane. Thank you. Appreciate that. I was there, but remember the first stream? Yeah, man. I wasn't until 40 on official that it actually sunk in. We, we fucking did it, boys. Yeah. Crazy, man. I was watching from the sidelines. I'll never forget his duel with Stalvan Mismantle. Yeah. Yup, that was my first hardcore character. I died at Stalvon and Duskwood, and I was proud of myself. I got to like level twenty something, and I thought I was, I thought it, I thought it was Giga Chat. Yeah, no big deal. Level twenty, uh, level twenty four on a warrior hardcore one life. No big deal. Orc Rogue soloing Baron Aquanus for the Outlaw Saber. Yep. So many good times, man. So many good times. Doing each dungeon for the first time, not knowing if it was possible to do it on Totem Life. Like, I, I, I was talking about the story, but the first time we did Maradon, I remember there was this girl, Red Sonia, in the group. I think Graze might have been there. Um, this other dude, Mortal Horde Warrior. Like, we were all terrified going into Maradon. Like, just dead serious, not knowing if it was possible to do on One Life. It's just so funny to like, oh, see how far it's gone from then. Or since then. Dude, I remember doing BRD. There was like, I think maybe, I, I wasn't even that big of a, you know, of a channel. I maybe had like 40k or 50k subs or something. But we were doing BRD, Emperon Hardcore for the first time. And we had like thousands of people watching it. Like everyone was on the edge of their seat. And we were playing like Age of Empires music in the background of his hype. The idea was feeling like Mount Doom, I know. And now it's just completely normal. Yeah, you know, fully epic out, geared out. Like imagine not killing Keltazad in hardcore one life wow. Oh yeah, good to see you back, man. Please put the videos back up there straight fire. I think they're back. Yeah, I, I tried to re-upload everything again. Again, just just one more time. Thank you. Thank you very much. You guys have been like so, I honestly 
I'm shocked at how like nice everybody is. I appreciate it, guys. I'm not really making a comeback or anything. Like I think I think I'll try to like loosely commit to just like throwing the stream on every now and again, and I'll try to level this guy up at some kind of base, see what it's like. But hardcore album 2.0n. You know, actually, I, I made maybe like five or six tracks for another hardcore album, but I just never did anything with them. I think I played one on like Bobka's stream, and a few people stream when we made it. I can see if I still have it. Let me see. I'll play it. Uh, I'll play it one time. Just a few, just a little bit of it. This is like an unreleased thing that we, we made, Winky and I. It's called Run It Back. I made it because people were dying in hardcore. It, this was early into hardcore. Um, it was early into the hardcore server and people were dying at 60. I think like people just died in AQ20 and I just want, I was felt feeling compelled to like make a song to like try to motivate people to run it back, you know? Gray's died. Let me see if it works though. Um, you guys can't hear that, right? Let me see. Let me try this. One time for the one time. One time for the one time. Can you guys hear that? I can't even hear it. I literally can't even hear it, but I'll just play it for you guys, let it run for a minute. Can't hear it anymore. <laughs> ah, never mind. It's all good. Go back to music. You need something? How are you? See you later. Well met. Need help? Greetings. Go with honor, friend. Good day to you. What can I do for you? Have a good one. Have a good one. King's honor, friend. King's honor, friend. What are you looking for? Bag of marbles. Can't forget those. I do for you. Be Can careful. I help you? Okay. Hamstring, definitely need that. Next row. Should I always get everything? Have a good one. Especially with that new glyph, with the uh, Furious Thunder glyph. Maybe Thunderclap's a little better. Yo, sec. Good to see you, man. Yeah, everything's good, bro. Everything's good. Put victory rush back on your new gloves. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Vendoring Light of Loons felt sacrilegious. Did I just vendor Light of Loon? My bad, my bad. I'll go get it. That is, that is sacrilegious. That's disrespectful. I might delete my guy right now. Oh. Okay.
Will these streams be uploaded to YouTube afterwards? I think they'll automatically stay on YouTube, yeah. Rune reminder add-on is really nice. So how many how many different choices? Is there actual choice with runes, or did people just figure it out and there's just one min-max that that's set up? How how are the runes feeling, guys? Like, are there actually are you switching them quite a lot? Does it are there multiple viable options? Or did we just get the RXP min-max the rune guide and now we're done? How's the pickleball arc, pickleball arc going? It's going good, man. I think I'm probably like a solid 4.5. I mean, I'm trying to see. I, I'm not trying to say I'm going pro or anything like that. I'm just trying to see how deep the rabbit hole goes. You know, just trying to get better. For me, it's like the carrot on the stick that keeps me motivated. Like, keeps me wanting to like, you know, get in better shape and, and do this. But like I said, I did do a PPA tournament recently in Palm Springs, which is one of one of the pickleball like um, kind of like pro uh, organizations. I did, I did alright there. I got gold in men's doubles and silver in mixed. And I have, a, I have really good training partners and like I love my team. We have a team and we, we, we drill every day, we play every day. It's really fun. Great to see you. I just want to let you know that your Christmas palette and leveling streams lifted me up during one of the hardest periods of my life. Thanks for sharing that, man. I, I remember that run. I remember that run. We ended up AOE grinding on that pally. Talking about, like, intermittent fasting and OMAD and keto and all that. Talking about it. It was, yeah, it was a fun time. And it was, like, during the holidays, right? Graze is lurking in your chat right now, give him hell. Graze, you lurking here, bro? Good to see you, bro. Hope you have a great time with Sod. It's pretty dope. Thanks, Penguin. Also looking good, bro. Uh, wonder what uh, a, wow, a wow break does wonders. Yeah. You still have the Paladin AOV footage? Yeah, I do. I think I put everything back up yesterday. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna stream for like two hours. So maybe another half hour or so. That's all I can, that's all I can handle. What's up, King Wolf? What is up? Did they change any of the other dungeons, guys? Like Dead Mines and RFC, do they do anything at all with that? Or is it just completely the same buff damage because the whole world is buffed? Like, there's no new items in the other dungeons, right? Just buffed, okay. I think the most hype thing at BlizzCon, though, that they teased, is the idea of a vanilla Karazhan. Not exactly a hot take, obviously, but that would be that would be truly sick. I wonder if they're working on that right now, behind the scenes. An entirely new, fresh experience from scratch. Snacks 60 is coming. How did the um, the faction locking go, by the way, as well? Has that been effective? Have people been outraged by that? They full on sent it. Like, if there's too many people on Horde, you can't play Horde, and they stuck with that. They never relaxed that restriction, to my, to my understanding. Faction lock is awesome. 
super effective at work that out. Interesting. Any hype for uh, Cataclassic? Or is that uh, is that dead in the water? Yo, is that C Dank? What's up, dude? How's it going, bro? You still you been streaming every day? You still been pumping? I've been just completely out of the loop. Thank you very much for the uh, for the Prime C Dank. Thanks, bro. I still remember. Probably the most fun I had playing with you was just when Everlook came out. It was you, me, and Asmos, like tri trio leveling. And of course, we never made it to 60, like most private servers. Like, you just, everyone talks a big game. Oh, we're gonna be raiding. We never made it. It was still super fun, man. That PvP server, it was like super buffed. Freaking dwarf priests and dwarf hunters everywhere. Asmus and I were playing rogues. You're on Warrior, right? So fun. Cataclysm was dead on the announce. Yeah, I do remember at BlizzCon though when they, that announcement that they did for season of Discovery, the amphitheater at BlizzCon was s completely packed for season of Discovery, and it was weird because I've always seen like WoW Classic is such a niche thing, like compared to their other properties like Diablo and Overwatch and Mega Wall and all the all the other things. The amphitheater was completely full. It was a huge stage, too. It, it felt like there was more hype for Season of Discovery there than even for... If you remember 2019 BlizzCon, like, there wasn't really anything. There was, like, a small panel, small discussion on WoW Classic. Classic WoW was just kind of like the red-headed stepchild back then. Those are good times. You were so addicted. Yeah, that's me, like, every... Every vanilla piece of refresh for at least a little bit. Putting 0 0.5 is my T-Mog and tapping out forever. Turtle Wow Karazhan. <clears throat> yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. So far. So far, so far, it doesn't feel unrecognizable. Like, yeah, I get another skill right now, just mainly Victory Rush. And there's like some new mechanics with the with the runes, but it doesn't feel it still feels like home so far. So far. Stay tuned. They're only level eight on a warrior though. Still feels vanilla enough. Yeah. It does feel vanilla enough. So there's level 25 mounts right now. Is that a thing? I haven't seen any yet. Ashenvale only. I see. Counts are going to go so hard at forty, though. Do people have, uh, like, what's what's the best gold per hour right now in at level 25? Do people like Ampi already have, like, hundreds of gold or thousands of gold? I, I bet they do. I imagine there's GDKPs the whole nine yards, right? They just boosting. WC boost selling. So that's, like, the Maradon, like, the one... Is there a... Oh, but wait, didn't they change the dungeons so that you can't do, like, one full type stuff anymore? They committed to that, right? You can't just like one pull WC. The mobs are gonna go crazy after a while. <clears throat> I'll be boost strat is best gold. Mages don't need to kite anymore, you just face tank at all. Damn, that was just HC only that they did that. Interesting. Mage boosting is arcade now, not frost. Huh. 
That's that is interesting. I wonder why. Because I do think you can get Imp Blizzard at 25, right? Maybe you don't even need it, you can just cone a gold guide or something. Mage is a self-heal based on arcane damage done. Oh, Greetings. there you go. Go with honor, friend. Light be with you. For the so you just arcane explosion a, a bazillion things. Keep it slowed with uh, Kona Gold and heal yourself massively. What's up, Borabi? Where are you working out? Yeah, I've been getting back into it. Living Flame is the key. No Cone of Cold at level 25. Living Flame, Living Flame. Doesn't ring a bell. Oh, new spell. Okay. How many days a week are you at the gym and what is your split like? I'm a bit crazy, man. Like, I'm kind of an extremist when I do stuff. Some of you guys might be the same way. Maybe it's like ADHD brain or something like, but like I, I'm not capable or that capable of balance. Like I go too hard with stuff. And it's just part of my nature. I've just learned to like ex embrace it kind of and just work with it. Um, so like my strats are a little weird, but I just try to train every day. And like, I try to eat as like as low carbs as I possibly can. Knowing that I'll make mistakes sometimes and eat carbs from like sauces and you know, they'll just they'll find their way to you, right? And like I try to train every day. I try to like do a class in the morning. Cause the classes for me, most of these classes like are like lower body workouts, like you're doing like conditioning like core and legs. And you know, us guys, like we just want to do the beach muscles a lot of time and like you can lie to yourself, but you know, you don't you don't hit your legs as much as you should, right? And like so for me, like I do the the classic, you know, Pilates or yoga or something, and do it'll train like your core and legs, and then in, in the nighttime I'll try to just do one muscle, like chest or Greetings. back, or shoulders, arms, and just try to go every day. And then sometimes life is gonna throw a curveball at you, right? You know, your daughter gets sick or something, something happens, you, you're not gonna make it. At Good least to you. you're like trying to train every day. So then, when that happens, then you're still training like six days a week, you know. See you around. But most people are gonna tell you that's way too much and you're gonna overtrain and do all this. I, I feel like with like overtraining, like your body will tell you, your body will be shutting down, you will be feeling so weak. You you will know when it's time to rest for a little bit. You will know. And you just push as hard as you can until until your body tells you that. Do you go to a bougie gym like Equinox? I do. Yeah, I do, I do. For me it's like my like, it's a huge, a really big part of my life, so. Like all my friends are there, Pickleball's there, so it's worth it. As a fellow ADHD brainer, how do you stick the routine? You just have to... You just have... I mean, you have to kind of like, enjoy, honestly, accountability, like make friends. Make friends who are also part of that lifestyle. That's probably it. Make friends and also like keep keep something to motivate you. Like for me, it's like pickleball and trying to get better, right? That's the carrot on a stick that makes me want to keep improving and keeps you accountable and keeps you like driving forward because you need some kind of like objective or goal or something you want to win or something you want to do. And you don't let it uh, don't let it don't let the dust settle. Always just keep the carrot on a stick dangling in front of you. What is pickleball? It's a, it's like an up and coming sport. People say it's like the, uh, like the hottest sport in like the U.S. At least like it's growing the fastest. I don't know if that's true, but it's really fun. It's basically the thing about pickleball. Like my, my, my pitch, my, my spiel, like my pitch for it is, and how it's different from other racket sports is right by the net. There's a little zone called the kitchen, and you can't go in there. So it's like a no man's land, and you can only go in there if the ball drops in there. So unlike every other racket sport I've ever played, you can reset the tempo of a point or reset the point by just dropping something gently in the kitchen. And it allows like both sides to like come up to it 
and then you have like a battle there where you're just getting tricky with shots inside out shots like super fun and it makes it so you know you can be like 70 years old and be nasty like you can still be really good because you can't just drive your way to victory or, or like out you know you can't just like brawl your way through how good is your dink game are you a banger i'm definitely a banger because i'm a tennis guy i play tennis my whole life but i'm i'm getting better Wise words, appreciate it, man. Got some buds at work. I want to start up bouldering. Think I might get into it as a group. This shit hard's every that shit hits every part of my body. I used to love it. That's the thing. I mean, that if I were to give like advice to the people who were and just save them a lot of time because I've made lots of mistakes and made lots of mis you know yeah. I mean, I've let myself go before. I've gotten huge before. I've been super skinny before. I've been everything in between. Like that's for for it works for me. Like find friends who have their shit together and or like you know going to the gym and like into sports and, and all that type of stuff it's gonna be such a game changer for you because it'll keep you accountable it'll keep you healthy it'll keep you eating right like you know most people are like not smoking and drinking that much and you'll do like fun activities like physical outdoor activities stuff like that with them diet so hard i work out every day but sometimes i just go past mcdonald's and stop in here's my thing if i was passionate to make any content right now i've thought about this for a while any kind of content that actually like really like interests me a lot that i would want to do and feel like it'd be valuable genuinely valuable it would be just little guides on how you can eat out like eat out at restaurants and fast food places and still Kind of eat healthy i know it sounds crazy but like there's there's like weird you there are ways you can do it there are places you can go there's things you can order there are things you can do like the other day i found out like you know chick-fil-a right one's in the chat if you like chick-fil-a so if you were to order a 30 count nugget at chick-fil-a how many calories is that right if the, the the regular breaded ones i don't know probably like 1500 or something it's a lot maybe like 1700 if you get the grilled nuggets it's like 500 calories for like you know, they still probably have some carbs somehow because you're going to use some Polynesian sauce or some kind of thing to, to dip it in or whatever, right? Maybe some seasoning, whatever. But, like, there are tons of things like that. You can go to places and just try to get meat and vegetable at those places. And you kind of show people, like, little, like, 30-second things. Like, you know, this is one go-to meal you can keep in your back pocket, you know, if you're out. Or this is what you can order. This is what you can do. body fat right now um i think i think i'm probably like 10 percent right now what the heck is happening right now i'm getting juiced up by something temporal beacon records the subject position in time i'm getting healed by a mage it's happening thank you thank you that's the mage heal i see so you can target people with it too You mentioned that you've also been hustling for a while now as an entrepreneur. You said that you purchased two businesses. What are they about? Yeah, I don't really want to get into personal stuff, but like, that is that is one thing I'll say. Like, you know, like, yeah, I don't know. Wow. Like, of course, there's good money to be made in gaming and stuff like that. You can start businesses in gaming, but you can get for you can forget how much money like just regular businesses can do, like and be cash flowing month to month. Right. Like just home services or whatever. Right. Like you get like there, there's an opportunity cost with doing stuff in WoW. And for me, that was like a huge thing, um, you know, <clears throat> like I'm doing some like van rentals right now, for example, it's just one of my one of my like hustles where like I have like sprinter vans that are like converted into like campers and have uh you know they sleep floor have a kitchen and stuff like that and just renting those out you know short-term rentals things like that. It's, it's crazy hey what's up then you know? we love you mr cargoes what's up zarlin bro how you doing brother 
Do you have good tips for getting ideas for businesses? How do you find out what you want to pursue? Yeah, I would say, honestly, man, if you're like at the ground floor right now and you don't have like a ton of net worth or a ton of like reserve or, you know, cash and stuff like that, don't try to reinvent the wheel. Don't try to go out there and come up with some new, like completely innovative thing. I mean, you can do that and you can go try to raise money for it and, and you can go that route. That is, there is a way forward with that. But to be honest, I just pick something tried and true that you know works low cost. Like some people get out there, to, you know, and just start doing window cleaning or something, right? Or doing like... Uh, uh, mobile detailing, for example, you know what that is? Like, where you clean the clean the car really thoroughly. Like, you can learn that yourself. Go buy the tools to do that really fast, and get out there. And if you have a successful mobile detailing or putting on um, what do they call it? The, the wraps for cars, you know, where the de the decals or any of that type of stuff is, is you can you can do that yourself. Low cost. You just you grind. It can be insane. You can, you know, be doing millions of dollars per year doing just that. <clears throat> how's life going? Life's going really good. Then, again, how's everything with your with your little one and, and all that? Stream? You still streaming every day? Is that going good for you? French man, thank you, brother. You would be a wonderful personal trainer. Thank you, Tina. Like I, that's another thing that I like. You know, I've been overweight many times in my life. I've struggled with weight like my whole life, pretty much. It's always been like a demon that I'd have to you know fight against, right? Like it's it's a seesaw, just back and forth, back and forth. And I, I hope to have finally like defeated the demon now and been able to like just kind of find balance and find a system that works for me. I think like I've finally like gotten to that point. But I do really feel for people who, who are struggling with it, right? Like they don't know—they truly just don't know what to eat, or they're having problems with, like discipline or, or whatever it might be. Like, <clears throat> I, I think they're—you know—I you, you feel compelled to like try to help this people. <clears throat> Yo, what's up, it's Skill? Thanks for the tips. Have you made businesses with employees under you? Or is that something you have to maintain yourself? You, you have to get in there and do it yourself at first. You have to have like no pride. And I struggle with this sometimes. Like you, you have to get out there and, and do the grunt work yourself. Get out there, clean stuff, hustle, you know, be, you know, get out there and just do the, get in, get in the mud and do that stuff. Learn the business really well, thoroughly, and then you can hire. And then it'll eventually, um, and then you won't be, you'll know what you're talking about when you hire people, right? And you won't be asking them to do stuff that you wouldn't do yourself. Food is a massive expense for me. I need to learn to be better. Yeah, it's a massive expense for me too. I should I should get better. I should cook more. You know, I eat out way too much. It's, it's, it's not good. But there is a way you can do it, you know? Like, you, you don't have to meal prep and stuff. Like, it is it is the best by far. It's the best by far uh, to just meal prep for yourself. But you can eat out every day. And this is not like some like skamaz thing. Like you truly can. Like you can eat out every day and eat well and like super high satiety meals and like just like super delicious and amazing and, and be all right. You just have to know what to get and where to go. I said my first time two months ago and I was originally always skinny. Now I'm 100 kg and can't stand myself. You're low-key motivating me to get you act. I'm already trying out the healthy diet. Yeah, I mean, that's another thing to keep in mind, right? You know how they always say you can't outwork a bad diet? That's so true, man. It's so true. And for me, like, I make mistakes all the time with diet. I cave in all the time. I'm a fat kid at heart for the rest of my life. It's just always going to be that way. So what I would say as well is that there's a lot of like new tech, if you want to call it that, like in the food world, where they're using like sugar alcohols and stuff. So you can actually like enjoy snacks. Like they have like a protein Pop-Tart now. It's 20 grams of protein, four grams net carbs. And 
it kind of tastes like shit, but it kind of still is, it tricks your brain and you're eating a Pop-Tart. Put it in the microwave for a few seconds, like, for me, that works. You know, they have the Halo Top ice creams. You ever, you know, you guys ever, you know, kill a, a pint of Ben & Jerry's ice cream? That's probably like 1,500 calories in a pint of Ben & Jerry's, right? Something like that. You can get like the Halo Top ice cream. It's 15 grams of protein, 270 calories, or like 300 calories. You eat an entire pint of ice cream. They got the Quest chips. They got the peanut butter cups. There's, thankfully, we live in a time where you can get these like pretty delicious, like low net carb foods. And that, that wasn't around when we were growing up, you know, that's like so new. The Magic Spoon cereal, I've heard about that too, yeah. Yeah, I've heard about that. I'm a big cereal guy too, man. Like just some Honey Nut Cheerios. I could, bl I could eat an entire box of Honey Bucks. Honey, honey Nut Cheerios or shredded shredded wheat, uh, shredded wheat, Wheaties. Easy clap. Easy clap. Where we at with coffee now? Back to the percolator, French press. I went full on with the espresso arc for the longest time. I was doing espresso for the longest, longest time. And now I regret to inform you I'm back on the Starbucks arc. <laughs> My espresso machine broke and I just, CBA, I need to get another one. But you know, they're expensive. It's, it's a couple grand to get an espresso machine. And just like, just been kind of coping with some Starbucks. And, oh, for me, it's Dunkin' though. Like I love Dunkin' Donuts more than I should. I know the coffee snobs think it's probably the most dog water coffee. For me, it's like very nostalgic of home. You know, New York runs on Dunkin'. Just to get like a large coffee with cream in it. That's it, no sugar, nothing like that. Just like it, it hits different for me. It, it doesn't, it just tastes like its own unique thing and it makes me happy. So I get that a lot. Yeah. Aeropress. Yeah, and there's not many Dunkins out here in California. It's very rare. So there's one. I have to travel like 20 minutes to get there, but I still do it because it kind of reminds me of, of the East Coast. And they're like the one place too. You know how like every single business in society right now has a tip. We, you know, you put the you put the card in, right? And it always says you know tip. It could be anything. There's always this tip option, and I always I try to be nice. Just put the lowest one every time, right? I go in, but it is a little bit, it does make you feel slightly uncomfortable if I'm being, if I'm keeping it a thousand and Duncan doesn't do that. They just give you your coffee and let you go in your merry way. The King has returned from pickleball practice. What's up, Jalen? Good to see you, man. How's everything with you, Jalen? Do Americans ever drink hot slash warm coffee? Oh, because you're saying it's so common for like to see, you know, the girl with the venti, the venti ice latte that's like the size of her like head. Yeah, yeah, we do. But y y you are onto something. Like they assume out here in California, when you order a coffee, that it's iced, and that does bother. It bothers my wife more than me because she doesn't like iced iced coffees. She only drinks it hot. No, so, and anytime you order something, like if you get a, let me think of one. That would be kind of a strange one. Um, okay, so like a matcha latte, right? Or like a chai tea latte. To me, that's hot. Like that's that's hot. That's the default. That's the default setting. It's hot. You order that, and sometimes they'll just hand her an iced one, and it's like, what? I got a matcha latte. You just handed me an iced matcha latte. But they just they just assume. Yo, Kigo, what's up, brother? Good to see you, man. Chinese to scald your tongue slash roof of your mouth, yeah. Wow, we made it to the two hour mark and it wasn't that painful. It's actually been super fun, guys. I'll hang in there a little bit longer. Maybe like another 30 minutes or something. It's been super fun. Never in my life got a cold coffee. I mean, I like the cold coffees too, but I like them both equally. <clears throat> Yo, Oxy with the tier one sub. Thank you so much, bro. 15 months. Thank you so much, bro. Over a year of support. This legit will have me online tonight. 
and bro what the fuck happened you started gym or just wow games the thing is bro like when i was in college like i i was into it i was i was you know i feel like that's normal for the par for the course with like a dude's life you go through college and you want to go to the gym like everyone is going to the gym you go to the gym and you go have that 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 experience and you try to like bulk up and do all that and um then you get over it and you move on but like once upon a time i i like i was kind of into it you know doing all that so i feel like it, it kind of comes back like you don't fully ever lose it even if you completely like let yourself go for a while do you ever do any cold water therapy slash cold plowers plunges? I do do cold plunges. I don't like it at all. It's very painful for me, but it does work. And like my teammates, like my pickleball teammates, they love it. They swear by it. Like they, they have they, like injuries sometimes. So pretty much what that is, is you go to the hot tub, you sit there for 10 minutes, then you get out and you jump in the outdoor pool. Some places have a dedicated cold plunge like spot, but you jump in the outdoor pool. It's like super cold and you stay there, put your head under and you try to like stay calm for three minutes. Then you go back to the hot tub five minutes. Then you go back to the cold water three minutes. Hot tub five minutes, cold water three minutes. And then you, we finish in like the eucalyptus like sauna room after. And, and uh, so you do like three rounds and you feel you feel better. Oh man, dude, Oxy just went crazy. Thank you for all the subs, Oxy. Gifting subs to all the, the key people. Thanks so much, bro. It's pretty crazy how many how many of you are still here. Like it's like I almost didn't stop streaming. Like this is it's it's, it's okay, I'll potion. It's uh if I were to turn on the stream like a year ago, it'd be like the same group of people. Classic Dill. Subscribe to tier one for three months in advance. Oh I see what you did there, bro. I see what you did there. Now I gotta stream for three months, huh? Thank you, bro. Jalen gifting a sub to Brovanda. Thank you, Jalen. Thanks, guys. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But it's, it's, it sure is nice connecting with you guys. Will older streams be available like two plus years ago? Uh, I think I, I re-uploaded everything, but maybe, maybe I left some out still. Thanks for all the work on getting HC servers. You're welcome, bro. You're welcome. I kind of fumbled the bag in, in some ways, but I'd like to think I did my best and helped make it happen. No more horde. I'll make a horde guy, I think, too, on another account. But for you guys, what music, what like music do you get more nostalgic for when you haven't played WoW in a while? Is it the Horde zones or the Alliance zones? <clears throat> Even though I love Horde, like for me, like it's it's particularly like Westfall, Westfall and Red Ridge that stick out to me. Like I kind of like when I start just jonesing to play WoW, like it's been a long time. Like those are like the zones that I was just wanting to do an Alliance run. Baron's so solid, though. I cannot believe this is the OG Cargo is the guy that made the HC Challenge is streaming. It's Deja Vu. What's up, Dan White? Completely Westfall, Teldris Hill. Baron's got the chat. Yeah. Yeah, lock my down. It's gonna be nice. Almost late to dinner. I had to tell them I was catching up with old friends later, y'all. Hey, see you around, Ashley. Good to see you. Really good to see you. Guys, I think I will wrap it up here. Wifey just got back. Um, and I, I pick a ball in a bit. Um, go to the gym in a bit. But, yo, from the bottom of my heart, guys. From the bottom of my heart. Seriously, before you leave. From the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank you for being, like, so cool. Like, I feel like this is kind of, like... This means a lot to me, this stream, coming back and having some having some people here that still remember the good times and and uh, still got love for me. So I appreciate it, guys. See we do another one in the coming days. I think uh, Grace is still alive, so just like old times, I'm going to throw it over to Grace.
you later, guys.